Presidential candidates aren't the only issue on the ballot here in North Carolina next week. State leaders want voters to sign off on the Connect NC bond. It's $2 billion in new debt for projects across the state. New at 11, CBS North Carolina's Michael Hyland has more on why some people fear the cost is just too high. You're talking about $2 billion. Money that would go to new buildings and improvements at places like NC State and Wake Tech. It's not free money. Is, Nicole Revels is going on a mission across the state. She started NC against the bond. There's little accountability and little scrutiny. Urging people to vote against it on March 15th. She joined the Wake County Taxpayers Association Monday outside the legislative building. North Carolina residents deserve better. Governor Pat McCrory and other state leaders are also crisscrossing the state on a mission of their own. He urged a yes vote Monday, saying the improvements at schools especially are long overdue and necessary to promote job growth. And if we're going to recruit industry in eastern North Carolina or Piedmont, North Carolina or the western North Carolina, if we can't find the talent to fill those jobs, we won't recruit new industry. In fact, we won't keep the industry we have. McCrory says the bond won't require a tax increase because interest rates are low and the state's paying off its existing debt quickly. But some are skeptical. None of us have ever seen a bond that did not raise taxes. We think this is no different. In Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS North Carolina. Attorney General Roy Cooper, who is one of the Democrats running against Governor McCrory this year, also supports the bond, but doesn't think any candidates should be the face of the campaign.